Hey everyone, Justin here for SNS Archery. In today's gear video, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of some of the double pin sights that we carry here at SNS. One of the questions we get asked often is which double pin sight should I choose? All right guys, getting started in today's gear video. In front of me, I have some of our most popular double pin sights that we sell here at SNS. And really the whole purpose behind this video is just to help you out and compare these so you can see them side by side. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so the first site we're going to be looking at today is the S&S Backcountry Pro Dual Track from Black Gold. Uh, this site comes in at nine ounces, so it is the lightest out of the three, uh, and it's gonna cost about $400. Next up, we have the Spot Hog Fast Eddie XL Double Pin. Uh, this particular site is going to come in about $325. It's going to weigh 12.2 ounces. So this one is our heaviest. And lastly, we are looking at the HHA Tetra Rise. So this comes in at 11.4 ounces and is right around $350. Just know that the prices on these are going to vary at different times. Um, some of them go on sale, some of them come out with new products. So. Uh, as far as when the video is dropped, that's basically around what the prices are, but they can definitely fluctuate. Uh, when we look at the double pins, uh, we'll talk pins first, and then we'll just kind of go through the bodies of the site. So ranking these three out, uh, in our own opinion, we definitely give the edge to the black gold. When you're looking at specifically just the pins, uh, black gold are very bright. Uh, they utilize the photochromatic shell, which balances uh, the light coming in and out to the fibers. Uh, and then the way the metal pins are constructed, uh, they just seem to not cover up any parts or protrude past the actual fibers. So we're huge fans of the, the dual track and the fact that in this version, we've kind of customized it. We have a 19,000 screen pin on the top and then a green 10,000s on the bottom. Out of these other sites in front of me, the black gold is the only site that we have an adjustment on our bottom pin. So we can actually set the pin gaps. So unlike these, which are fixed, they're just gonna correspond to however fast your bow absolutely is. This one, you can set your pin gaps. So there are some limitations. You're not gonna be able to get you know, 20, 25 yards in between them. But the faster your bow is, the more speed, more distance and gap you'll have. These two pins correspond to your dual indicators here. These are adjustable, so when you're on the side end process, you can set that top pin at 20, and maybe your bottom pin at 32, 33 yards, and that, if that's what you like, and you just line up the pointers with your sight tapes. The Spot Hog, great pins. These are gonna be offered as a either a 19 thousandths or a 10 thousandths pin sizing. You can also do custom pin sizes and colors on these. So either that green, two greens, maybe you wanna throw a red in there, you can do that on these as well. So um, like I said earlier, you cannot adjust the pin gap. And so your double pointer is basically set to that gap. So for some people, it might be a 12 yard distance in between their top pin and that bottom pin. It might be eight yards. So it just varies. Looking at the HHA, so the rise, uh, very good pins on these. Uh, once again, green and yellow setup. Uh, they do come in a green and red as well, available in 19 thousandths or 10 thousandths. Uh, the nice thing about the, these pins up front, the rheostat is adjustable on this site, so you can close this down uh, and darken up those pin fibers. So if it's really bright, you can kind of balance that light. And then if you wanna open it up, which primarily you're gonna have it open most of the time, you can do that on this site. Same with the spot hog, you have two indicators here on the side, which are gonna to correspond to your pins onto your sight tape, non-adjustable. You can move them up and down, but they're gonna to move together. So just know that. Next, we'll talk overall adjustments, kind of some of the body features of these sites. We'll talk with the HJ first. Uh, as far as your slider, your uh, dial adjustment, uh, I would give uh, this this category to the Tetra Rise uh, all day long. So buttery smooth drive system, the way that there is no plastic, um, you have this brass guide, everything about these is just super smooth. You have a tension lock here on the side, so you can adjust the tension, be able to dial out, not have to loosen and tighten every time you wanna shoot. So if you're out of 3D, huge benefit, very nice. 
Uh, you do have basically a zero stop or a start point, a default position with these sights. So you roll all the way to the bottom. Then you can make your elevation adjustments when you're sighting in on the front of the scope here at the infinite adjust plate. So that's really nice to have. Uh, it gives you that hard stop. So at any time you can roll back to the default position. When we look at the, the windage in your um, adjustments up front, we have toolless adjustment. So you just loosen this knob. We can slide over our macro adjustment, which is big clicks. And then we can also use micro adjustment to fine tune. Okay, we'll talk spot hog next. All right, uh, very smooth system. You have a lock down here on the bottom, which is going to allow you to roll up and down. A little bit more friction, but you don't have any slop on the system. So very smooth. You can set some tension on this one as well, just like the HHA, or you can lock it down all the way. Uh, with the spot hogs, there is a zero stop provided in your kit, which basically you manually set the distance at the time of sighting in. So it's another step to the sight-in process that you have to do on this guy. So um, not my favorite, but when you install that zero stop, you're able to go down to that default position, be set up every time. Um, as far as your um, windage on this site, so uh, a couple years ago, SpotHog came out with their quick disconnect assembly, which is how we're gonna get big changes in our windage adjustment we have the six hole spacer we can move this over move it back and then we also have toolless adjustment up front where we can use micro clicks to dial to get perfect uh, to be able to shoot that bullseye uh, very easy mount for different scopes uh, the nice thing about the spot hogs is you can run triple stack you can run three pin horizontal you can run all sorts of different scopes within their mounting system Black Gold, as far as your drive system, probably the, the most inconsistent. They're not bad, but some sights you'll find are fairly loose. Um, some are pretty stiff. Uh, the knob um, is not as comfortable as these other models, but it does everything you need it to. You can reach up, dial it out. Um, you do have a zero stop here on this site, all the way at the top. So when you're doing that initial sight in, all the way at the top, and then you're making your elevation adjustment right here on the gang adjustment. Uh, as far as your windage and elevation, uh, very easy to sight these in. You do see both of these micro gang adjustments for our windage and our elevation. So you have a main Allen screw inside the windage bar and the elevation bar, you crack that loose and then you can use the micro clicks. So very nice for fine tuning your elevations up and down. Um, got a beefy clamp biting down on the windage bar. Like I said earlier, you can adjust that bottom pin, the front pin here on the scope housing. You have a set screw and an Allen screw here on the inside of the housing. So that's pretty much the drive system on these. Um, as far as your sight in process, I would definitely give the edge to the HHA. Uh, their sight tapes are individually already pre-cut. Um, and then you also get this test strip. So this is already pre-installed on your Tetra. Very nice. It's already at zeroed out. You're gonna shoot this at 20, move back to 60 using the top pin. Once you figure out how far you've dialed, you're gonna look at your top needle. It's gonna tell you what sight tape to shoot. So very easy to set the sight tapes up on the HHA rise. Spot hog, I'm gonna go number two. Basically the first thing we're gonna do is get that 20 yard pin dialed in uh, low on the rail. So we have lots of room, lots of rail adjustment. And then inside your little kit that you're gonna get, you're gonna get some calibration tapes. You're gonna place that on your top indicator. You're gonna go back out to 60, keep dialing out until you get that top pin to shoot 60. Then you're gonna look at the calibration tape. You're gonna see what sight tape you are. Go to your sight booklet, put the correct tape back on in the default position. So pretty much the same as this guy. You just have that extra step with calibration tapes. Black gold, uh, it is a very easy um, process to do this once you understand it. And we get a lot of questions on the sight in process, but, but basically they don't come with any calibration tapes. Um, and so you were left with basically putting a pencil mark on your indicator, um, dialing out, making a second mark on that with the same indicator down the rail. And you're basically lining your sight tapes up to find out that gap to get the correct ballistics. So this one's the most tedious out of the three. Uh, that's why we've done videos on clarifying this. It's really not that hard, but basic concept is you're gonna get your 20 yard pin sighted in, 
dialed in and then mark your indicator, then move down or move out to 60 yards, dial down, find where it's shooting 60, mark it again, and then just hold your sight tapes up to the indicator window uh, where you're gonna see two of your marks, line up what sight tape works, that's gonna be your sight tape, roll back to the default position and, and put that tape on. So a little bit more work, like I said, once you figure out the concept, it's really not that tough. Uh, last thing, we'll talk bases of the sight. So HHA, you can see here I have the short dovetail, uh, about a four inch dovetail. It is bridge lock compatible, um, so it fits in my phase four, fantastic. Uh, this sight is also available in their standard base, and then you do have a Hoyt mount, um, so it's gonna fit on the, on the Picatinny. Uh, Spot hog, we do have a longer dovetail, uh, six inch, and it is bridge lock compatible. Um, so same thing, works in the phase four, any of those bridge lock bows. Um, so you do have some more adjustment with this sight, moving it in or out. Uh, and that's one thing I'll mention real quick about the ring systems on these. They're, they're all fairly the same size as far as the scope housing. But when we look at the spot hogs, they have their MRT rings and they also come with a single ring. So what's nice is you don't have to perfectly line up that peep because this, you basically have three rings on this system. Uh, it's a lot easier to, uh, to get your peep centered up every single time that you shoot. So definitely a benefit with the, the multi-ring system of the, of the spot hogs. Um, you can also get this site as basically a fast eddy, uh, which is basically the, an X-frame fixed base, which is gonna mount on the side of the riser. Uh, and then when they also do carry the PM version, so the Picatinny mounts uh, with the same double pin setup. So you can do that. Um, black gold here. Uh, this is basically available in two versions. We have the four inch ascent dovetail, bridge lock compatible, individual divots, so you can move it in or out, just like these other ones to really fine tune the scope housing up to your peep. Um, the other version that we sell is with the quick link, which is the same thing, mounts up to the pistol and gives you your Picatinny um, attachment point for your Hoyt bows. So two different options. There is an X-frame version of this, but it's primarily you're gonna find these on just the standard pro dual track sites, not our s and backcountry builds. Lastly, we'll hit on axis adjustments. All of them are gonna come with second and third axis adjustments, very easy to set up. So. I definitely wouldn't favor uh, from one site to the next. They're pretty much all equal and how easy they are to set up. Uh, to break that down, you know, what site should I go with? Um, if you're really concerned about pins and quality of pins, and that's the most important thing to you, go with the black gold. Being able to set your pin gaps is, um, is huge. And especially having the photochromatic shell, something that balances the light for you, uh, that's a no brainer. Uh, if you're looking for the site that has the most durability, kind of the bomb proof setup with great functions, you know, toolless windage adjustments, uh, being able to swap different housings later on, different date, go with the spot hog. Um, but if you're looking for kind of the all around package, easy to sight in, great sight tapes, um, the cleanest, most buttery smooth uh, drive system, macro micro adjustment, I would take the HHA Rise. Uh, in that sense. So you really can't go wrong with either three of these sites. They're all fantastic. We sell um, a bunch in each model, um, but just wanted to break this down and show you guys the three, some of the three versions that we carry here at S&S. &S. If you guys have any more questions about this video or anything that we've done in the past, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching.